It's been one year since the coronation of King Charles, and the royal family is inviting the public to share their favorite memory from the historic event. Charles was crowned at Westminster Abbey May 6 in a ceremony filled with royal tradition. The historic coronation featured a carriage procession of fly past and 4,000 troops. The anniversary comes as the king begins returning to public duties following his cancer diagnosis. Joining me now to discuss is Afia Hagen. She's CTV's royal commentator. Afia, good morning to you. Wow, what a year it's been. How would you describe the king's first year on the throne? Oh, this first year of the king, of King Charles III being on the throne has been very tumultuous. A lot of ups and downs and so many things have happened. And especially actually uh, in 2024, in the past few months, we've had the cancer diagnosis of three members of the royal family, the king himself, uh, Catherine, the Princess of Wales, and Sarah Ferguson, the Duchess of York, all being diagnosed with, with cancer uh, within the past six months. Of course, you have had more spotlight on Prince Andrew with more documents uh, related to the allegations surrounding Jeffrey Epstein re released with his name in them. And of course, dramatizations of his friendship with Jeffrey Epstein in Scoop on Netflix and another series coming out in Amazon this year. And of course, the fractured relationship between King Charles III and his son, Prince Harry, that continues also. So it's been a really, really tumultuous year year for the king and definitely not the start to his reign that he would have wanted. No. And and in terms of his popularity, Afia, how would you say he resonates with royals? I think at the moment, actually, he's enjoying a bit of a boost with his popularity. And that actually is in a way because of his cancer diagnosis, there was such an outpouring of love for him when he shared, first of all, that he'd been diagnosed with an enlarged prostate and then talking about his cancer diagnosis. And just last week, we saw him back to work. We saw him at a cancer centre in central London and sitting with patients, holding their hands, uh, talking to them about their treatment, about his shock diagnosis and actually going off to an appointment for his treatment that afternoon. I always say that health is the greatest leveler. And I think he has looked more amongst the people at doing that engagement than he ever has. And that's what he really, really wants. Hmm. Today is also Prince Archie's birthday. Are we expecting to hear anything from Harry and Meghan? And we should also mention that uh, Prince Harry could be meeting with the king soon when he visits London. Absolutely. A big day for Archie. It is his birthday today. Perhaps I don't think we'll get any new pictures released on social media, but you are right in saying that Prince Harry will be back in the UK just in a couple of days, actually, for that um, uh, service marking 10 years of the Invictus Games that will take place at St Paul's Cathedral on Wednesday. We are expecting to hear from speeches from Prince Harry. And yes, him and his father could make time to meet while he is making that trip to the United Kingdom later on this week. I think it is something that King Charles III would want to make time for and Prince Harry himself would want to make time for as well. We won't probably find out beforehand if a meeting will take place. I think it will probably be late Wednesday, early Thursday before we hear something. But I do think that they will meet. Afia Hagen is our CTV royal commentator. Afia, thank you so much for that. Thank you.